Homeless shelter workers are considered essential. Feeding the hungry has become more difficult, however, because more people need their help. 13 on your side's Matt Gard went to Mel Trotter and Degage Ministries and the Muskegon Rescue Mission. And what he found is the success of their work depends on communities coming together. What's normal anymore? Just like all of us. Life changed so quickly, so dramatically. Homeless shelters are trying to adapt. We have this enormous situation at hand and we have to deal with it. Working to feed about 3,000 meals a week. As many mouths as possible. We go through food very, very quickly. On a tight budget. Our expenses are increasing and our revenue is, is decreasing. But they're getting help. We're still... Um, receiving donations from restaurants and venues like Gun Lake Casino. They've shut down, turning negatives into positives. That got us through days and days of feeding people. The need has also led to temporary jobs for people who have been laid off. We have uh, restaurant workers coming to us who are staffing our kitchen um, from Pepino's and uh, Long Road Distillers. Jolly Pumpkin and the Gilmore Collection. There's a long way to go. I'm just praying that we're able to continue to do that as we move forward. Shelters still need help. Don't forget about the homeless. Uh, they are still out there. They still need to be sheltered. They still need to be fed. And they are just as scared as everybody else is about how are they going to survive. Mindful of their mission. We don't turn anybody away. We never have, we never will. And hopeful for their communities. We're gonna get through this together because we are stronger together. Matt Gard reporting. The people who run all of the missions say the best way to help during Governor Whitmer's stay at home order is to make a monetary donation. We have links to all three shelters on our website, 13onyourside.com.